This is Stephen K4ATZ. We are going to go over the settings for the CW decode mode. This can be a little bit confusing following the owner's manual, so hopefully I'm going to straighten it out in this uh, brief video. So the first thing that you will be is, of course, in the CW mode, picked by the mode button here. And, uh, you know, you can, of course, sideband CW. And um, what's nice is if you uh, have some of the filters installed in the CW portion, it really narrows down the uh, signal so that you don't get any QRM. But anyways, if you want to set the sensitivity, you're going to hold down the data text button. And it'll probably come up at first uh, DEC off. To turn on the decode, the first selection will be you're going to use the VFO beat button right here. And the first selection will be transmit only. So you will not decode and receive, but it will decode in the transmit. The next one is RX THR1, and THR2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, this is going to require stronger signals as you go up. Okay, so let's say we have it at nine and hit this back off. you'll see that it's not decoding anything. However, if we go to one, this is a weak signal, it is decoding. All right, so if it's not working for you, make sure you don't have it too high. Personally, I find that THR 3 or 4 is the best setting for the average signals. So, you can see it's pretty good. Now, you may have to adjust the filter some because some of the ringing may be interpreted as letters. And also to center the frequency, you're going to want the CWT on, okay? Um, which, if it's not on, you're going to the spot CWT, you're going to hold it. The CWT is going to come up here. Okay. Now, it may decode. when you're a bit off frequency but what you're going to do is click the spot and it'll automatically tune to where the center is right at the CWT. Let's get another signal and see if we can show you how that works again. See how it brought that signal right to the middle? Sometimes again, you have to play with this a little bit. Get a lot of interference on there. The decode is not always going to work 100%. You would think with a signal this strong, it would work. Obviously, it's not going to work that good with this signal. 
most of the time you can tune it in to where it'll work. Now if you have sloppy signals or sloppy sloppy hand, um, it's going to have a hard time. It's got to be a pretty clean hand and that makes sense. Of course I just got a station that would have been good if but he was just sending it, turning it over to the other station. But anyways, I think you can see basically how this CW decode works. And instead of just having a video where just showing you the There you go. What? Ban. Bans. The. Most. So see, it works really good. Well, we just had a downpour come down here. But anyways, um, hope that helps. I'll post this and we'll have some more operating tips on the Elecraft KX3 73s from K4 ATZ